Okay, someone didn't like my last video because I was speaking about how capitalism is bad. It is, because it makes people nowadays at the level of being like a child when it comes to survival intelligence. Not even a child, like an infant. Uh, people, if, if we had a solar flare, there would be no internet, no TV, no cars, and people would be running around on the streets panicking and not knowing what to do. This is going to be a long video because I want to really touch this topic with you because I, uh, I worry about a lot of people out there because they wouldn't know what to do whatsoever at all and I really suggest you take some survivalism classes that knowledge is being lost people are just getting so comfy with the the artificial environment that we have nowadays it's become acceptant as the norm and all it takes is one disaster like a tsunami and the water's tainted they wouldn't know what to do they wouldn't know how to find food that's why so many people died in Puerto Rico is because they didn't know how to find the resources and stuff like that and and only people we can blame are um, the people that push this uh, you know modern crap on people and it's it's really 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 uh, disturbing that no one really knows how to start a fire from nothing I'll give you a hint Do you know anyone with glasses? If the area is devastated by a flood and all the stores are flooded and they're closed and you, it's like say, uh, like New Orleans, you could go to a store, get yourself a pair of glasses on a sunny day, get some dry Kindle get sticks, point the, the lens towards the sun, you will see that a little ray of light comes out so strong, so hot, it catches the kindle on fire. And then you can boil the water. And then if it's seawater, you can boil the seawater and then put a uh, a condenser pipe and then have a coil and have it drip down into the other part. You can make a decent desalter uh, so you can get the water uh, pure and it won't be salty because it will be steamed. It will be steeled water. So it'll go the steam will go in, up and collect in the other side. You have to make a distiller, and then you can drink seawater even if you distill it right. Because it'll be pure. All the solids and salt and minerals will be left behind in the bottom part of the other one. Okay, now that we're done talking about water, let's think about it this way. You're stuck out in the wilderness. It's raining. It's cold rain. What do you do? What do you use for shelter? I'll tell you what you use. Saw palmetto leaves. You know why? They got those little ridges and the water naturally collects in them and shoots out the one direction. Lay them over each other like tile and then the water during a heavy storm will just slide right off and not even hit you. But you gotta make sure your fire stays warm. <laughs> well, 
It's always good to know these things, and that's why I'm telling you these things. Because that thing I tell you now could be the thing that saves you in the long run. Want to hear another survival trick? Okay. Say, uh... You're out in the middle of nowhere, scurrying around, stranded out on an island, and out comes this, uh, this, uh, old fishing rod and some lines washes up on the shore. What do you do with that? Well, for one, you could try and salvage it. There is a trick, I know. If you put mini hooks, it's called trot lining. We do it here in the south. Trot lining, you can put multiple hooks on one line. And sometimes you'll catch two fish at the same time. Why sit there all day trying to get one fish when you can have four fish? Doesn't that make a whole lot more sense? I know you guys don't like these long videos, so I'm about to end it right now. But here's some tips that I'm sending to you. Just in case, because you never know with today's crazy world. Every little tip is vital 